Hey everyone, I'm Matthew. I'm the Upwork guy. In today's video, I want to talk about how to actually scale. So if you haven't already started to see some success, then it's just a matter of compounding. So even if you don't see results, if you continue the inputs that you're doing, you'll eventually see results. So don't worry about it. But this video is more so for people who want to scale with Upwork. So let me just preface this by saying scaling on Upwork is pretty linear but at the same time it isn't as efficient as it would be let's say for cold email so what i mean by that is when you're cold emailing someone you can send out pretty much as many as you want as long as you have the domains to support it, right so it's just a matter of inputting more money to buy more domains scraping bigger lists and you'd be able to scale send out how many emails that you want it's directly proportional to how much money you actually put into it and while upwork is similar there is a ceiling so with cold email, you can send pretty much indefinitely and you'd be able to do so pretty much immediately. While as with Upwork, you'll find that sending 50 or so per day is possible, but it would require a lot more than it would for cold email. So what I mean by that, once again, just to explain is currently I send anywhere between 15 to 20 proposals per day on behalf of myself and my clients. So most of you think that that's quite a lot, when in reality, I don't think it's that much and the only reason i keep it at that level there is because upwork is a supplemental form of legion it isn't something like cold emails you don't rely on upwork or it isn't your primary source of leads because you're not going to be able to send even half as much volume as you could potentially do with cold email so while you can get high quality warm leads from upwork you're not sending 50 to 100 proposals per day and expecting the same level of results as you would from cold emailing where you can build a list targeted towards your ICP knowing as well that they have the funds to be able to pay for this. On Upwork, you're restricted a lot more in the sense that these jobs that we apply to, it isn't as though we can tell right off the bat that these people have money or that they'd be able to at least afford our service. You'd only be able to have even a inclination of this by using intake forms, which is what I recommended you should do in my last couple of videos. Using these intake forms and asking the right questions will lead for a bit more reliable form of vetting on your prospect. So Upwork is indeed scalable, but it isn't on the same level as it would be if you were doing cold email. And to that extent, I'd say that you should only use Upwork as an agency owner if you've already established a primary or even secondary form of lead gen. So for me, I would do cold email. I have Twitter as well, and I'm developing LinkedIn. So Upwork, while it is something that I used in the beginning as my primary source of income, scale that to about 7.5K, there's a wall that you'll eventually hit. Because no matter what I do, it's very difficult for all of them to be qualified. While with cold email, I can do even more volume and I'd be able to target my ICP more reliably than I would with Upwork, right? So moving on to how to scale further with Upwork, let's say that all of these requirements or the conditions have been met. And you as an agency owner already have cold email leaching and you have something like Twitter or LinkedIn to complement it. And now you want to use Upwork as a means of getting even more leads and, you know, further scaling your operation. What I would do is to actually hire someone to do it on your behalf. Because if you've been watching these past videos that I've put up, you'd see that it's quite a lengthy process to set everything up and then send out these proposals, you know, 15 to 20 on a daily basis. If you don't know or you don't have any clue as to what you're doing, it can take you anywhere between one to two hours to do this yourself. So when I pitch Upwork as a form of legion, I typically preface it by saying you should already have something in place. This is just the caveat or the cherry on top. Just recently, for one of my clients that I signed in May, I booked him already three meetings, right? And of those three meetings, two of them were able to pay for a service. So that's already two extra qualified leads that he'd be able to get and they're warm. 
So while you may not experience as much volume in terms of meetings as you would from Upwork juxtaposed to cold emailing, you have to remember that Upwork leads are already warm. Like they already want your service. When you pitch them or when you send a message to them or a job proposal, whatever you like to call it, and they respond to you, that is them saying that they're interested in whatever it is you're doing which makes it much easier to book meetings with them. Only barrier, I'd say, is whether they'd be able to pay for the service or not. It's just a matter of your sales skills. So the quality of meetings, I'd go to say, you know, while it may be better on cold emailing since you can target an ICP, if you have no ICP and you're not a super niched down service, the quality of leads that you get on Upwork are on par, if not even better in some cases than cold email. So what I'm saying is cold email has volume. And if you have a specific ICP, then it also outclasses Upwork in that case. But with Upwork, all of your leads are warm, which is one. Two, the volume is lacking in comparison to cold email. That's true. But three, the quality of meetings that you'd get if you're not super specific or you have team members that are able to delve deeper into broader topics are just simply better. And you have to remember that there are huge companies that actually do come on Upwork looking for freelancers, right? Regardless of whether you're a freelancer or agency. Most people don't have any issues with agents. But I'm saying that to say there's so much potential here for you to pick up an extra 3 to 5K just from one meeting, depending on how you price your services. And for you to do that on repeat for whatever the cost of Connects are, we can just look at Connects here and you see that the price is incredibly cheap. Let's see. For me, it's $15 for 100 Connects. So if you do the math there, so you're paying $15. Let's say you buy 100 a day and there are 31 days in a month. You're spending less than $500 for, you know, 100 connects per day, right? So there's literally no reason for you not to be doing this. Because even if you spend $500 on these connects, if you sign even one deal, you're guaranteed to make it all back plus insane profit. And then you can put more money into connects and then send out more volume that way. And that's it. You will just be on repeat. And then let's not forget that on Upwork, you also have the profile, which serves as another form of social proof. So it's just a continuous loop. So you get a job. So you spend like $500 in total on Connect. You get an insane amount and you get a deal, right? Let's say the deal is priced at 3 k So you'd already be net positive or 2.5K. And you'd also be able to contribute towards your total earnings on the platform, which would then get you more inbound leads as a result of, you know, a good profile as well as jobs that you've gotten and five-star reviews, right? And then in turn, you get more inbound leads, you get more jobs. You get more jobs, you'd be able to pay for more connects. You get more connects, you'd be able to apply for more jobs. And it's just surf. So if you want to scale your business further, then Upwork is a legit way to do so. That's all I'm trying to say in this video. The only thing that I'd say, this is mainly for agency owners, is that the time that you'd be spending doing upper by yourself, you could be using that to take on more meetings. So I would highly recommend that you outsource this upper outreach because you don't have the time to sift through all of these job descriptions and then in turn vet them and then send off a cover letter. Because it's not just copy and paste, right? As I've said prior. There are some cases where, yes, that can work, but if you want the most amount or the most bang for your buck, if you really care all of that much about spending like $500, then you need someone that's willing to put in that extra work, copywriting skill in order to get you those responses that will net you more meat. So that's all I'm trying to say. I hope that you got something or some value from this video. Or if you don't have any questions or concerns, you know where to find me on Twitter. So thanks, guys. Take care.